Hey guys, Master Twan here. This is going to be another video on Power and Revolution Geopolitical Simulator 4. And the first thing I have to say to you is welcome back. If you've been here before, uh, I am very, very sorry about the the past few weeks. There was a certain situation that arose. Uh, I'm fine, don't worry, but uh, there was a situation that arose that meant that I was unable to upload for a period of around 10 weeks. I should have probably informed you of this, but my uploads were getting slimmer anyway. But this is something that I hopefully want to change and I want to try and get back into into regular uploads if I can. So if you're missing the content, don't worry, there's, there's more to come. I should be back up. And it's been strange to think that I've always been back been back for a year now. Uh, back from when I stopped before. Uh, that the video I did on the Syrian Civil War series was was nearly a year ago now. It's nine months, so that's pretty impressive. But anyway, so this series is going to be mostly around. Well, I got a request from someone to do one as by and I thought I'd do the election first, and I got into filming the election, and then I realised that power, just how scuffed the power and revolution election is. Um, I was on I was on medium difficulty, and I completely thrashed Trump in the election. It was about seventy five percent, I think, in the end that I won by. And we won over every single state in America. So I thought, you know what? That's ju it's just going to be hilariously painful to sit and watch me do an eight-year series with something as unrealistic as that. I say eight because I will almost definitely win the win the second election if it's that easy. So what I thought I'd do instead is I would do something. I'd do something interesting. I am going to turn America into a one-party state and stop Biden from ever getting in power. Because if you can't win legitimately, you cheat. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm cheating. Cheating the system. So I will update you when I have successfully created my monstrosity. Alright. We're back now. And Popularity's taken a bit of a hit, but on the bright side, no one cares about the popularity. We, we, we've just... We've taken over. We've... Actually, what I do need to do is need to make my term limit... Ha! <laughs> yeah, no, we're not, we're not gonna do term limit. We're just gonna... We're just <laughs> this is gonna be brilliant. I thought the term limit would be worth it, but apparently not. And no one even cares, like we're not even getting protests or anything. Sure, maybe our level of democracy has plunged by about 60 positions, but does anyone really care? Mm, if they do, they won't be left here. Uh, right. So the first order of business is act actually, I forgot to say, I got kicked out of NATO. <laughs> the US got kicked out of NATO. That, that, that's got to be some form of failure. But now Europe hates us, as you can see. Well, no, they don't. But they will in a minute, trust me. Let's have a look. NAFTA. Leave. We got kicked out of the G7, apparently. Uh, yeah, 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 you're mad, aren't you? But that's going to... That's going to trigger Canada, hopefully. No. You're not leaving, you're staying. World Trade Organization. I probably should leave these. I don't know what all these stand for. That's the Pacific Community. I don't even know why I'm in that one. Oh, Mexico. Oh, no, Mexico. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave the World Health Organization. This is the world without COVID, though, but... <laughs> I'm gonna leave the World Health Organizations. Get gone. 
Oh, stop getting annoyed. No one cares. Easter. Yeah, see, it's Easter, guys. Oh no, Canada don't like it. S s stop, I don't get why you'd want to... The decree takes it... Oh yes, let's go. We are the king of the United States. I had... <laughs> Our fiscal... Does Spain want us to leave? Uh, how about a big fat no? Um, yeah, no, I'm not... Oh, is this, is this gonna be it? Or is this space research? <laughs> yeah, Ronald the First! <laughs> this is Worthy brilliant. Of the coronation of Napoleon himself. This day of coronation will make a mark on the history of our country forever. It was in the early morning that the procession started to make its way down the streets of the capital. Let's go. <laughs> All of them adorned with the seal of the royal family for the occasion. Ronald the first. By guards on horseback in middle age uniforms and fanfare coming from a giant speaker. The royal couple has taken their place in the sparkling carriage, just like Cinderella's. Over the entire route, the vast crowd paid tribute to their future monarch by throwing rose petals, while the first airborne performed aerial acrobatics. The coronation ceremony opened with Thus Spoke Zarathustra by Richard Strauss. The king then appeared dressed in a large cloak with gold leaves and a train of several meters. After having taken the oath and placed the crown on his noble brow, our majesty will now crown his wife and take the golden scepter the symbol of supreme authority. The cannons thundered and the doves have been released. The country has just become a monarchy. Exactly, which means everyone else can just shut up. Respective analysis. Nope. Uh, Alright. Let's see how our level of democracy has plunged yet. Oh, no it hasn't. That's disappointing. Ah well. Uh, we'll, go we'll just go and... Hmm, who to go for? Mexico or Canada? This is interesting. No, it's awful. Uh, right, let's have a look. I reckon I'll go for Mexico first because I know you work for your country. Well, shut up. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, I just increase the military budget and then shoot anyone who says that that's not a good idea. We're trying to get us out of debt. In a press release, the terrorist oh, organization has claimed responsibility for the. No. Also, the um, we do have the first ever environmental. Probably not the first ever, actually, but we have. We have we have the environmentalists are now considered terrorists. So yeah, that's fun. Um, we'll just leave we them be waiting. because I can't be bothered to. Infiltrate them. Yes, the my popularity is speechless. It does leave you speechless, and so it should because I am. Why am I closer with the Bahamas than I was before? All right. <laughs> the Bahamas are apparently agree with me. The situation is like how the like the, the, uh, the, the military commander just the rebel. his first instinct is to attack now here is our growth for he is like me the rebels have he knows what he's talking about that's a lie I don't know what I'm talking about um alright let's the see the king has appeared for Easter <laughs> sharing this moment of intense spirituality right. with the rebels. Respective analysis. <laughs> I love that. Ronald the first appointed for life. Our sword. Yeah, I reckon we'll just attack Mexico. Because no one's gonna hate me if I attack Mexico, right? <laughs> We have subdued but people might hate me if I attack Canada. Rebel was There's already a fight. This is intre- Wow, we, <laughs> we, we've just- We've got them pretty quick. 
the front lines. We've just taken over them. Hopefully we can get Mexico to surrender pretty quickly. I used to like doing the Chaos 2030 one, because it was always easy to get America to be a dictatorship. And I managed to take over the entire of the North American continent. I managed to get Canada, and I got Greenland as well. And then I got... I think I had... I had a few African countries. I had Venezuela, I had Portugal, I had... I think I had Morocco at one point. I had Spain, and then... The environmentalists killed me, which is... Also... Which is how this one's going to end as well, but... It doesn't matter. The environmentalists will kill me anyway. And if... If I do try and use renewable energy, then the deficit will kill me, so I can't really be bothered. And I'd rather get stabbed by environmentalists than by rich people. Because that's the that, that I don't even know why I said that. Oh, damn it, I got we have kicked out. I got, did I get kicked out of the UN? <gasps> no, I didn't. Okay. That, that, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> that's, that's good. Because the UN, for me, at this point, is just a card that it's just a get out of jail free card. I can do it's it's a card that I can do whatever I want on the world stage as well as in my country. It's just so fun. And all these countries hate me now, which means is there anyone who doesn't hate me? Afghanistan. Oh yeah, we pissed off Spain as well. I forgot about that one. Um Spain can just... They go into the UN, but as I've said, I can just do whatever I want. No one can stop me, and it's really funny. Because they all get mad, and they all say... We have taken they all tell me how they're going to stop me, but... I'm in control of the UN, so there's no point. Okay, but don't tell me my army's disappeared. Okay, good. It does that sometimes. Fallen. I was doing a really nice Japan playthrough the other day, and then my... The balance of... Then it just disappeared, and it's really annoying when, when that happens. I don't know. Ever so many different need to fix that, but yeah, I don't think they will. And I don't speak French well enough to contact them. I speak a bit, but not much. Uh so oh, we've already taken. Ch we don't even have Chihuahua, but we've taken Chihuahua. Uh, we've got Bass, California, and we should have this. This edge bit here. So if we might just we, we might just end up taking the, the top. Enemy army. Taking the, the, the army's the defeated. Has fallen. Oh no, they're not. They're just a bit stupid. Mexico's a, Mexico's a good one because there's a lot of cities, so it always looks really good. Like conquering it, I mean, because you can do it bit by bit, whereas some countries it's just you versus the capital city. And because the front line's so big, you're taking a lot of different cities rather than, uh, rather than the big one big oh, city or two big cities at a time. It's good fighting in Europe as well, but it's just it's when you're taking, uh, I think it's like in Africa and stuff, then that's that can get a bit boring. Uh, Greece want me out, but they're not going either because I can just walk over small countries and do whatever I want. We've always got Mexicali. So hopefully the Mexicans will just surrender. That would be nice, but I don't think they will. We've already got... Oh, you've made a resolution, have you? Too bad. If I can take Canada as well, that would be nice, but I can't really be bothered doing that at the moment. But Canada will be next, to be under the rule of Ronald the <laughs> First of, Am of America. Yeah, yeah, of course, we've got to remember, Ronald the First of America, appointed for life. Is that someone who doesn't hate me entirely? Okay, no, okay. It's Puerto Rico. Oh, boys! I think it's just Afghanistan that liked me, and that's only because I'm helping them in the war that I don't get a say in. Oh, no, and South Korea. And, Ta and Taiwan. And Poland. And the UK don't hate me, I guess. I guess that's... That's got, that's got that going for me. Alright. Let's have a look. I want to check. Do Japan just hate my guts? Oh no, Japan don't hate my guts yet. They're going to want to kick out my soldiers though. Which I won't let happen. So they will hate me eventually. The city has... 
Right. Perspective. Let's have a look. We are just completely thrashing Mexico at this point. Um, we're probably going to invade the other side of, of them, so we'll be going on two separate fronts. We've got Monterey. Uh, we've got Santa Corina. Oh no, we haven't, but we will in a minute. Oh boy! All right, so I reckon I'll probably just update you in a bit when I've conquered Mexico. See you then. All right, so we've just ended the war with Mexico, and Mexico is small now. Oh wait, I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> We've got this little, uh, this little city in the middle of, in the middle of Mexico. But yeah, uh, Mexico is small now, and so that should be just round about the end of the video. Next video's plan is to take Canada. That should be pretty easy. Uh, and continue down, continue down the, uh, the central, down through Central America. Maybe go for the Bahamas, but I'm not too bothered about that. And eventually, one day, we'll come back to Mexico. But I just like leaving little Mexico for the time being. So with that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you all next time.